So. Mr. Frame, you and Ms. Guerrero are neighbors. You share a common fence in your backyards. Your dog was injured. Your dog was clearly injured, and I don't think Ms. Guerrero denies the fact that your dog was injured by her two huskies. This is your dog. You have two huskies. One. One husky, one Labrador. Your Honor. Shh, shh. You don't deny that your two dogs, one or both, injured Mr. Frame's dog. No. But it was on your property. Correct. And that's your defense. Mr. Frame thinks that he's going to establish to my satisfaction that his dog did not voluntarily go into your yard, but was rather dragged in by your, either your husky or your Labrador. That's your burden. You understand that? Yes. Okay, good. So on what date did this happen? Uh, September uh, 14th. What time of the day? Uh, I was not there at the time. When the, the incident occurred, I was at a, a medical uh, appointment at uh, Loma Linda VA. I don't, it's okay. not, it's well, not I got relevant. Home, when I got home, right, went into the house, uh, my little dog was in there, had a bite on his nose. The boy dog, Toby. Looked for Brandy throughout the house, could not find her. That's Brandy. That's Brandy. Went out back, and I have boulders, large rocks, all the way on my side of Show the me. fence. I have uh, pictures here, Your Honor. Show me. Okay. You have large boulders on your side of the fence because? Because the neighbors prior to me had large dogs also, and I didn't want my dogs to be attacked by them. Okay, so you put rocks along the fence. Right. Okay, very good. Now you have rocks along the fence, and there is a fence, and the fence almost reaches underneath but not quite. So there is a small space. Small space underneath, normally. Right. Okay, so you went outside and? Went outside, uh, could not find my dog anywhere in the yard. Went uh, over to the fence looking for, I have a raised flower bed, could not find her there. Then I noticed one of the large rocks was moved and there was a hole dug from the defendant's side of the fence. How can you tell it was dug from the defendant's side of the fence? Uh, just by where the digging took place. Keep going. So went around to where uh, she was, went, asked her, is my dog in your backyard? And she said, yes, she's lying over by the fence. Went out there, she was bleeding, not moving. Just a second. Ms. Guerrero, when he came over, did he say to you, where's my dog? And you said your dog is lying over on the fence? No. Um, he actually was in the front yard. We were getting ready um, to go and leave a note or try to knock on his door to see if he was home. And he said, is there a dog in your backyard? And I said, yes, yes, is it your dog? And he said, yes. And I said, okay, come. And she is hurt. She is in the yard. You mean you had never seen his dog before? No, I was a very, very new resident. So you didn't know whose dog it was in your backyard? No, but I had a feeling it was the house behind me because the hole was evident. Did you take pictures of the hole? I did. I'd like to see the picture of the hole. Mr. Frame, I mean, what you had said initially, this didn't look like the kind of lady that would just leave a bleeding dog in her backyard, but she really didn't know whose dog it was. No. How much do your dogs weigh? Maybe 40 to 50, 50 pounds. I don't know how much dogs weigh. They're about knee high. They're medium. They can't get through this hole. I have oh, a picture of them also, Your Honor. Hmm? I have a picture of my dogs also. Here's one. Um, and then, I mean, it doesn't look as if a large husky can get through a, this hole. a better one of the uh, Labrador if you need that. You can continue. I'm just telling you, my view is that through this hole, right. this dog can't fit. Okay, can I explain? Five days later, I'm sitting out in the backyard in my patio. The dogs are barking, one from the other side of the fence, and my two dogs. They are down on the ground below the flower bed. I, I go over to the fence to see what they're barking at. The boulder had been moved again, and the husky's entire head was underneath the fence. His entire head. So? Your Honor, and... Shh, shh. Okay. So. so, I am positive that they got a hold of my dog and drug her underneath the fence. I'm not as positive as you are. Because in order to do that, your dog had to be very, very close to the fence. Initially, no, they no, were. Just a second. Initially, they, they were. Just a second. Right? In your... But my dogs could not move that rock. They, they only have... weigh like just 18 pounds. 